Hello, welcome to Know Your CRM 2016. And uh, as you can see on the screen, this is the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM with new navigation. So, um, in this video, we'll be going through briefly what is new in Microsoft CRM 2016. And also, the purpose of this video is actually to provide a training for those that are trying to uh, make use of Microsoft Dynamics CRM if you want to just learn about what it can do for you or your business uh, or you just want to be a developer using Microsoft Dy Dynamics CRM this is a good video for you it's not going to be um, uh, this is going to be the first in the series of Know Your Microsoft CRM 2016 so talking about uh, what is new in Microsoft Dynamics CRM uh, there is now a new navigation bar as you can see if you've been using Microsoft Dynamics CRM before this is pretty new in Microsoft Dynamics the layout is now uh, totally new uh, you, in Microsoft Dynamics as you can see the work area which is more like the model, sales, services marketing settings everything now is totally different unlike in the previous version when you click on uh, a work area like say service for instance you know you can see the drop down of what you have access to in that particular work area or in that particular model unlike in the previous version where it will actually load in that, on that page so this is more like it flows uh, seamlessly and it's really cool and also uh, in the area of navigation there's also a new thing that you would love to or that you can actually look out for if i go to account for instance and uh, load the particular record there is this new uh, navigation here uh, that actually gives you access to the tabs or in your or your phone so currently as you can see we are actually looking at the summary tab so from here you can move to uh, other tab like the details which is pretty cool as well so aside the navigation uh, stuff which is new in Microsoft Dynamics in 2016 there is also the, something that is new which is in settings which is the theming which is more like the color scheme of the, the look of your Microsoft Dynamics which you can find in settings uh, customization this is pretty new if you check the previous version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM you will not find the themes so themes here yeah, is where you can customize the look and feel like currently you can see the, the ribbon uh, part is blue you know you don't have uh, you can actually change the color and the color of your links uh, in there uh, but you can get more information of what is new in Microsoft Dynamics um, CRM 2016 on Microsoft uh, site I will provide the link uh, below in the video and uh, something to also look out for which I forgot to mention when I was talking about navigation is you know if you look at the navigation you can see here the recent it gives you uh, the recent view even though in the previous version you have access to view but here it's totally different in the sense that it's been there in a, in a different way you have access to your recent views your recent records and um, you know the recent uh, dash I mean activity that you actually performed or that you worked on so and you can easily pretty much just like the previous version where you can easily create uh, do a quick uh, uh, creation of some records you know you can do the same thing here for something just like you know uh, uh, that one can see easily is the fact that it's totally different like it's more like a drop down so which is uh, cool so and the last that I'm going to talk about uh, in the list of some of the new things to look out for in 2016 is um, the orb which is more like a tablet look 
of the service area so what that what this gives you is more like to give you uh, something to just look out for like something to to, to concentrate on if you look at what you have on your screen this is tier one dashboard which gives you uh, a list of you know uh, the dashboard of your active case your result case. This is what comes into uh, comes with Microsoft Dynamics Serum 2016 um, I've actually bookmarked the link you can actually have access to this I uh, think the first time you load your Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2016 you're gonna have a notification a pop-up uh, around here that will tell you something that is new so about that which you can actually click on and then it will take you to uh, to this hub so like I said earlier you can get more information of what is new in 2016 from Microsoft Dynamics CRM um, the link is this so like I said this is what I've actually covered what is new in Microsoft CRM 2016 we've covered the uh, new navigation new form navigation the themes and then the interactive service up dashboard and forms which I showed uh, previously again you can get the link or you can get more information from this link Microsoft uh, uh, website so now going back to what we have as in the rest of what we want to concentrate on in this video which is going to be the topics that we will we'll be covering in this uh, uh, video in this uh, tutorial of know your CRM 2016 so we will be covering all this but which will be split in several videos uh, because the essence or the, 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 the plan is more like to just concentrate give you uh, even like you know the name of the channel is more like CRM know your I mean CRM 15 minute nugget so which is more like just uh, the, 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 to just give you what you need to know in piecemeal so that you won't be you will not be bored with too much information so if you have the intention to actually prepare for uh, MB2 700 certification exam which is actually tied to CRM 2013 this tutorial or this read or this set of videos will also be good for you because I will try as much as possible to actually capitalize on what you will be expecting in this exam. So before we go into details of this, which will be covered in in other videos, I would like to go straight into Microsoft Dynamics CRM as in for especially for those that are new to Microsoft CRM so if you are new to Microsoft CRM you are welcome uh, Microsoft CRM is customer relationship management application which is a very good application I love it it is it is a very good app in the sense that you can easily extend the functionality of this app that Microsoft has actually provided in fact it is now becoming a very uh, uh, widely used industrial application and many industry or many business are tending to move to Microsoft Dynamics Series so if you are looking for more like you know if you are a developer or if you are a business analyst or and you're looking into a new thing that you would like to 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 learn Microsoft Dynamics CRM is the thing to learn. If I develop, a, you, uh, you know, it's not only about just knowing the application. There are several other thing, cool things you can do with Microsoft uh, CRM, especially uh, when it comes to developing or customizing the look and feel or the functionality of the application. And for a business analyst, there are several things you need to know when it comes to like how can I actually suit or make Microsoft Dynamics CRM work for a business based on their business rules so these are the things that we'll be talking about in this series of Know Your CRM 2016 there are other series that will come up later on which will you know actually touch base on the development the customization aspect but the plan is actually to you know just work based on you know the certification which is mp2 uh, 700 which is basically about just knowing the application just knowing microsoft crm just knowing what it can do 
for you or your business so briefly I'll go through what is or what you can actually achieve using Microsoft Serum which is just gonna be an overview the the other videos that will come up later we actually focus on the details of each of the topics that you know we will we'll be covering so as you can see um, you know by default or you know when you uh, in if you go to the home page right click on Microsoft Dynamics CRM logo I mean icon for instance it brings you to the sales module or sales work area that is the default which can be changed if you go to the settings uh, personal settings but we're not going to be going to that so there are other modules as you can see we have the service module the marketing module and the settings to quickly explain all these modules or work areas sales e is actually used if you are well even from the name if you are into sales in sales of your product this is where you actually configure your product the product that you want to sell and you know um, if you if, if I uh, go into what you uh, what you have access to here you can see uh, you have access to you know pretty much in almost all the the work areas the sales the service the 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 marketing you have access to account so what I'm trying to say is you can actually you, you will realize that some of uh, these records like account are also obtainable from other work areas so um, just so you you can see clear you can see customer which which we actually saw from uh, sales and marketing you can see so uh, it's you know the way it's been designed is more like wherever you are wherever work area you are there are some records that you still have access to that you can easily have access to which are more like it goes across the whole application because if you're talking about even from the name CRM it applies to customers so wherever you have they just want to have access to that so in sales is basically about the sale of your product so that's just the summary of it and in service is more like to provide services to you to your customer like you know maybe attending to their complaints attending to their to their you know in the form of cases you know and how you can actually schedule uh, resources that you have to attend to their issues and in marketing this is where you actually deal with your potential customer in form of leads or or um, and if you want to more like you know do marketing in form of uh, campaigns and setting is pretty much where you configure your application and like I said you can extend the functionality of Microsoft Dynamics CRM so which means here you can actually you know what if you realize that you, what I mean what it comes as a default in Microsoft Dynamics it doesn't meet your need you can extend and create new records new new entity and which which will actually serve the purpose of what you're trying to do so this is pretty much the summary of Microsoft Dynamics and in all the videos that's gonna come we will be going into details of all these which will be using this outline to actually you know uh, uh, learn more about Microsoft Dynamics CRM and like I said earlier if you are planning for MB2 700 certification exam we will be going through if I if you look at you know the um, the topics is actually uh, it's actually based on that exam anyway and I will be trying to save some of the uh, questions that you'll be expecting in those videos so I urge you to subscribe to this channel and also watch out for other videos thank you very much for the time happy CRMing